When I was around 25, the end of the novice age, I thought about going back, but I was living in, in Allegan, and so I was a little too far away. Years and years later, I ran into Eddie at, uh, in, up in Grand Rapids for the Golden Gloves up there and uh, talked to him, and it was just like, it was like old times. And then just recently, uh, his granddaughter contacted me about, you know, with the news that he had passed away. Can everybody stand, please? <laughs> I'm honored to be present today and honor the life, legacy of Junior Edward Bridges. When I first heard about the passing of Coach Bridges, I gathered myself together and <clears throat> tried to put together a prayer in my mind because I knew when I lost Coach Bridges, I lost a part of me. Eddie Bridges died in September of 2018. Former KBA boxers gathered from all over the country to attend his memorial service in Kalamazoo. In that same year, Henry Grooms returned to Kalamazoo for a visit and invited the KBA boxers to a small reunion at the Kalamazoo House Bed and Breakfast. The outpouring of laughter and tears at these gatherings speaks to the impact that Henry Grooms and Eddie Bridges had on their fighters. The KBA fighters keep coming to the hotel some 35 years back, 30 years back. Lionel Ford, Oliver Lewis, Arnold Mackey, and the list goes on. They all are KBA PME people. Grooms and Eddie Bridges taught me they taught me everything from their heart. And when I train fighters, I, I train them from my heart. Training under Eddie Bridges and training at the Kalamazoo Boxing Academy, one thing I learned was team. I learned family there. We were very close family. People like Eddie Bridges, uh, they provided a um, point of interest for everybody. You know, and so many of them went on and uh, made uh, significant contributions in the community, like Lionel Ford, he's a quality individual. Started another career at the city of Kalamazoo and got involved in the community, and I was able to take a lot of the experiences that I had from boxing into the Kalamazoo community. And I'm still doing the same thing, organizing a reunion of all the great boxers from that era. I'm really honored to have been a part of the greatest boxing era in the history of Kalamazoo. Somebody asked me, where did you get the idea to develop the Kalamazoo Boxing Academy? How do we do that? You know, to create one took, first and foremost, individuals like Ted Parfit, Jim Gilmore, individuals who felt really in depth about helping people. That's why I owe so much to so many. Everybody that had to deal with that gym, we need to owe thanks for and homage to because not only did they corral young people, gave them something to do off the street, but they found purpose, you know? And even though uh, it's not uh, an easy sport, it still is a sport that can bring you into a family environment and, and harness your mind. You know, I'm so thankful for uh, Henry Hank Grooms giving us a, such a great opportunity. We've become better men. Henry Grooms, Eddie Bridges, thank you. You know, because that was a great ride. <laughs> the KBA Boxing Academy was one of the best experiences I ever had. It made me a stronger person, a smarter person, a wiser person. And thank y'all for letting me be in y'all presence and being able to say something about Eddie, the representative of the KBA, you know, just to say anything about KBA, because that was my life. That's how I lived it. I breathed it right out of that little place. The space downtown where the Boxing Academy once stood is now the location of the Kalamazoo Valley Museum. Families step into this building every day without ever knowing that boxing history was made 50 years ago in this very space. Next time you go to a hockey game at Wings Event Center, think of Henry Grooms and the generous business associates who built that stadium for his fighters.
When you hear names like Leon Spinks and Floyd Mayweather, remember that these men were touched by the city of Kalamazoo. Like the humble trainer Eddie Bridges, the legacy of the Kalamazoo Boxing Academy is quiet and unassuming, but it's there. An unmistakable glimmer in Kalamazoo's history. The Kalamazoo Boxing Academy and its fighters will never be forgotten. Boxing found me. I'm very proud to say that uh, I was a Kalamazoo Boxing Academy fighter. I was a champion. I am a champion. That's a good th way to end. A champion. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs>